<laughs> what's going on? I'm the Jacob Hall. And in this video, we're gonna make a charging pack out. I'm gonna take one of these ammo cans, uh, the compact toolbox. I did get a custom 3D printed latch from 3D Technologies. That is not part of this setup, but I wanted to make it look, you know, a little fancier. Uh, so we're gonna take this and turn it in to a self-contained charging pack out. So stay tuned and you can see what it's gonna look like and how to do it. First things first, you guys know we got stickers uh, and merch on our site. Uh, we've added something. And it is this sweet little guy, which is got the pack out princess, the Jake of all, and Jake of all on one of these little tumblers. It comes with a straw, lid, you name it. It's on the website. I'll put a little link there. You can click. It'll also be in the description. Uh, we only got a limited of these, so uh, take a look, try them out. All right, let's get on to this. So this is from Ryan the Electrician. I will post a link to him in this. Uh, he's on Instagram. He makes some great stuff, and he's got sort of like an all in one kit almost everything you need to do one of these you do need to supply your pack out but let me show you what's in here so we have a battery bracket and that's going to go here we have this plate this is sort of the meat and potatoes and this is going to go inside the lid the battery bracket's going to attach to that and this comes with your pack out you do need to supply your own charger Hardware, brackets, gas shocks, and a power port. So what I'm gonna do is I've got directions up on the screen, uh, but generally speaking, besides a few measurements, it's a pretty straightforward little kit. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Now the first thing to install it that you have to do, you gotta cut up the pack out. So let's go ahead and let's make some relief. We gotta get rid of these nubs in here so that our plate can fit. All right, so that's gonna be our first step. Uh, comment below if you know this, what this is, and uh, who was the first company to really come out with this guy? So you could use a jigsaw uh, blade or a hacksaw blade and just do it by hand, but why? When you have tools, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that this is gonna fit, and it is. So we're gonna get our hardware, and we're gonna get this guy. So these are quarter 20s square drive. It's from Canada, hey? So uh, Robertson, get them started so that we know everything lines up. Okay, we've got those six in. There are two longer ones and you're gonna basically use them with the battery bracket and put it in the last two holes. I'm gonna make sure we're not set to super kill mode. Backtrack, tighten these two first. So now we have the battery bracket and the plate. And now you're gonna work on your gas shocks. So I am just popping my caps off so that I can work with these a little easier. Okay, and install them on both sides. The directions are pretty clear what you need to do. So we're gonna get the mounting balls here, like this. We're gonna get them installed. And then we're gonna get a ruler and a marker. You wanna make sure that this lid is in an upright position, okay? 
and then on this dip part, you're gonna place this, and then essentially, you wanna find the center of this bracket, and you wanna be three inches from the top lip. So it's sort of a, uh, get this where you want it, and take your tape measure, get your top plumb, and then it basically says the center of the bracket needs to be at least three inches from the top. So once you get one where you need it, mark your hole. Now there are backing plates. This backing plate is so that this plastic doesn't tear out. So you wanna make sure you're that far enough that that plate can sit on this outside and not cause a problem. So I'd say now that I have my little three inch line in here, and honestly, that's probably the easier way. Let's take your tape measure, put it at that top edge and make sure you have a three inch reference line on the inside because you wanna make sure that the center of your bracket is below that three inch line. And then you wanna just make sure you're far enough out of the way that you're going to be able to have this perpendicular to here. You're in that way enough that your backing plate doesn't hit. Once you've got it there, mark your hole, take a drill bit, and then drill the first. Yep, I'm drilling holes in pack out. Since we took these caps off, I'm gonna separate this. I'm gonna put a screw in here. I'm gonna then put this on. And then because I left the bracket with only one screw, I can get it where I need it. I can then pop it off and then I can take my drill bit. my last two holes on that side, put my bit back in. Drive the rest of the screws in. Get the backing plate on. Get them all through the backing plate. Test fit it, made sure everything operated. And then I got an adjustable wrench where you can use the appropriate size, but this was just easier. Cinch them down, make sure they're nice and snug. Okay, now you have one side done. Go ahead and clip it on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and install the retainers. Make sure it operates, make sure it doesn't bind. Okay, now that I've gotten one, I can simply line this up with the one that I've already installed. I'm just gonna take my pen and I'm just going to set my finger where it is. Those look good. Put my first hole, repeat. All right, that just snapped in, no problem. Let's go ahead, put our little retaining clips back on. Look at that. Now this is going to have weight on it, and that is why there are two gas shocks. But once you unclip that, watch this. Boom, self-lifting. Okay, now the next thing most invasive, that's this guy. This is a nice, high-quality, water-resistant power plug, port, whip, whatever you want to call it. And what we want to make sure we do is we put it out of the way of the dividers. The inside takes less space than the outside got a little rubber gasket, it comes with screws, close the lid. We are mounting this on the side and that will actually give us more room. But just remember, whichever side you think you put, you're gonna put this on in your packout stack, right? If, so one, this is dipped in here, so that's perfect. Uh, with it being dipped in, it's not gonna stick out, it's not gonna be in the way. But you wanna make sure you put it on the side that you're gonna have it on the most. Now, that was my door. You might not never know, you could install it on the back, but if you install it on the back, it is most definitely going to interfere uh, with the divider. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the side. And I'm just gonna use this as a template to figure out where I want it. Hold off, pack out. Let's start in reverse. Good to go. The wife will love it, the carpet's a mess. Let's make sure 
that we clear. Screws out. All right, I got those screws put in. Camera died. Check it out. All right, and we got the dividers put in. On these dividers, one thing you'll want to take note is that if you don't put them in before you put these in, the back ones, you will have to bend to get them in. Front one's no problem. Uh, I did see a pretty cool little hack, uh, which is get the stealth mount battery brackets and attach them to these. And then your batteries will sort of sit in these brackets and they won't bounce around. Now, I don't really mind that they're bouncing around, but you don't also have to use this as just a battery storage box either, right? Because you can put batteries here. And let me show you that this works. It does close. It might, a teeny bit hit these and all you have to do if it especially if you're using a 12 amp hour you're going to either have to not run these dividers or you're going to have to grind down the tops of them but you don't have to obviously keep them in here right while it's closed i would say it depends how you're going to use this you can use this as a complete full battery box of both batteries and the batteries you might want to go ahead and shave this down a little bit put your 12 amp hours in here and you're good. And if you have a smaller battery than this, you don't have a problem. Now mine, if you take a look closely, I don't really have any problems closing it. And when I want to open it, I go like that. And even with a battery on it, charging it, if the batteries are on the charger, you cannot close it and you shouldn't want to because that will just cook your batteries and ruin your charger. So when you're done, you're going to want to drop them out. Either put them in here or put them in here. You're good to go. I am probably going to go with some cable management. I'll get one of those little electrical clips and put it around there and get a zip tie on that out of the way and a zip tie on that out of the way. But yeah, it's it's a pretty complete setup. This latch doesn't come as the kit, but you can get that from 3D Technologies. And I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Uh, I do have one more item that I'll show you here in a second. But generally speaking, let's give it a full little tour. We've got our plates, We've got our plates, and you can see how close to that rib I ended up going. Uh, if you move that closer to the rib, right? If you move these closer to that rib, it really doesn't change anything, right? How you have this thing leaning up and all that other stuff is really what you're messing with. But having it closer to the rib just means that you're gonna have a harder time getting those little backing plates on. So keep it away from that. Uh, obviously, if you know angles, if you have it too close to here, you're gonna have a little harder or too easy of a time uh, and it'll wanna close on its own, but you can see it does pretty well. And it's pretty stable and it's got batteries on it and it wants to stand on its own. If it's locked into a pack out, it's obviously great. So let me show you the last thing that we need to do. All right, I said I had one last finishing touch and uh, we want to know who came up with this idea. So we got a sticker. That's right. Boom. Nice little Ryan electrician sticker on the pack out. And uh, we got our little charging setup and look at how sweet it is. Now the sucky part is, is that when she comes in, she's going to be like, you need to cook. Uh, what's, what you got going on here? Don't you garage for all this? But it, I was comfortable in the breeze. The, the, yeah, the breeze. Hey, look at my battery box. What? Are you gonna get the? Are you gonna get your Milwaukee vacuum cleaner out and vacuum all this stuff up? I don't think she's happy with the mess I made. You guys gotta tell them to vacuum this stuff up. But hey, uh, I was that's, testing out those new cool. spider bits, and those work pretty good. But look, look, it's like powerful. Watch, watch. Boop. Doesn't. It? But you like it when they get up on their own. There's not a lot that can actually get up on its own anymore. Oh, I can't take her anywhere. All right. Well, I'm the Jake of all. And I'm the packout princess who apparently is going to have to clean the floor now. Huh. I can actually make him do it. So thanks, Ryan. Uh, I love it. I mean, I paid for it. But thank you. And you guys uh, check the descriptions. And uh, hey, buy one of my cups. I have like eight left. So. Have a good one. See ya. Back out.